Do you want to kill your Shopify business? No? Then avoid these five products at all costs. Finding a winning product for your store is crucial for growing your dropshipping business and beating out your competition. But selling a bad product won't just slow down your growth, it will burn your money fast. So in this video, I'll show you the top five worst type of products to dropship and I'll react to some cringe-worthy examples. Remember to like this video for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel for future reviews and leave a comment below telling me what was the worst product you tried to sell. Also, make sure to stick around until the end for a bonus bad product you might have not considered. Number one, fragile items. The first of the worst type of products you could sell are fragile in transit items. These can be anything from glass and ceramics to even artwork and delicate fabrics like silk and embroidered clothing. In other words, anything delicate that can break or tear during shipping. In drop shipping, because you cannot control how well the products are packaged, at least initially, you're taking a massive risk. Broken deliveries mean more returns, higher cost, and much worse customer experience, all of which can lead to bad reviews, destroying your Facebook page reviews, destroying your ad accounts, and also your wallet. Here are the major fragile fails that you need to stay away from. These cups here look very good. These are iced coffee cups, but they're not good products to sell because imagine shipping these products and when the customer receives them, imagine how frustrated they will be if they're getting this product and it's completely shattered. Another one here, ceramic cups look very good, but at the same time, they can damage and break during shipping. So don't sell these kind of products. Even though there's 500 sold, the margins and everything look pretty good but then at the same time it's not worth selling because the damages that you'll have during shipping are not worth the risk for selling this product another bad example is this these items might look good but if you cannot control the shipping if you cannot control the packaging experience for your customers don't sell these kind of products honestly these products are pretty obviously a bad choice but you might be surprised at the next one you might be thinking why is selling a cheap product a bad idea after all a lower investment means a lower risk in shipping and returns but the truth is that super cheap products do carry risks just the ones that you didn't think of the main risk is their low profit margins because you are selling a product for so cheap it means that any extra cost like shipping transaction costs and any other expenses will eat up your margin like a game of hungry hungry hippos Think of it like this, if I drop shipped the toothpick that I bought for a penny and sold for 5 cents, that would be a great profit margin, right? Wrong, because just to ship that toothpick, it probably would cost me 3 cents if I'm lucky. And probably can cost me even a dollar. And even then, I would need to sell 200 toothpicks just to make 4 dollars. Obviously, you're not selling toothpicks, but you get the picture. The lower the price, the lower the margin, and low margins mean less profit. So ideally, I want to be selling products for at least 25-30 dollars. So let me just show you some junk like this to avoid. One bad example is t-shirts. If you wanted to sell a t-shirt and let's say you wanted to sell like a plain t-shirt, so first of all, it costs $16, right? So probably it's like, you cannot be selling it for 10, right? You have to be selling it at a loss. But here, for example, this product is very commoditized and you're literally competing with all of the people that are selling, you know, t-shirts. It's very commoditized product. It has no differentiation at all. And even if you sold this other t-shirt, the margins are very slim. You always want to be at least 3x margin or ideally 4x or 5x. So if it costs you let's say eight dollars you'd have to sell this product for at least 25 30 40 dollars and it might be tricky to sell it at that price because at that price point consumers might get price sensitive they can buy a similar product cheaper elsewhere and they wouldn't want to buy from you another bad example here toothbrush you'd have to sell this for like 10 15 maybe 20 dollars so your margin will be very slim you have to ship these products they're commodity they're not nothing special here and so this is something that you want to avoid selling at all costs number three heavy products products guys i've told you this before stay away from big and heavy products think about your supply chain if your item is super heavy it means high shipping cost and if they fluctuate or they increase suddenly because of higher demand or whatever other reasons or maybe price of gasoline goes up right then it gives you the same problem as your toothpick but in reverse and another problem you can run into is logistics some fulfillment centers just don't have the right inventory management to handle big and oddly shaped items and that's slowing down your shipping and pissing off your customers. Just imagine trying to drop ship a tank. Honestly, shipping two spigs might be a better idea. Some bad examples here, like sofas, you can see $182 just to buy the product. So you'd have to sell this product for like $300, $500 just to make some profit on it. And it's heavy, it's bulky. If shipping costs increase, literally there goes your margin. Another example is this. It looks big, it looks bulky, heavy, very high price point. So you don't want to be selling these kind of products. Our fourth worst 
products is one you might have sold at some point, electronics. Like the other awful products, this product eats your margins like crazy, but not because of shipping. Electronics are expensive, meaning it's hard to price competitively in the market without making your margin super slow. Big tech companies like Apple and Sony can afford to sell these items because of their scale and control of their own supply chain. But with your Shopify store, you can only price your electronics so high before they're beat up by competition. Speaking of competition, be honest, when is the last time you've heard of anyone buying a crappy piece of tech from e-commerce? If there are other products that are even slightly better than the ones you're selling from AliExpress, then customers will flock to that product and you'll be left wasting thousands of dollars on garbage. So what does this garbage look like? Some people trying to sell these smartwatches. The problem with smartwatches is that the technology outdates very fast and you'll need like a very good software on the back end in order to support these watches. Even Apple, with all of their technology, with all their background, with all of their infrastructure that they have, they still investing into fixing bugs, constantly updating their software. This company most likely doesn't. Customers will buy the product, the technology will become buggy or not working at all, and you'll be left with a lot of returns and a lot of unhappy customers. Hearing aids in general is an amazing category. It helps people to solve a big problem that they have, and regular hearing aids are very, very expensive. They can be thousands of dollars. The technology inside, all of the processors, all of the chips might not be good enough in order for you to have happy customers. And again, what does it mean for you? It means a lot of returns. It means a lot of unhappy customers. It means bad reviews on the internet, and it means business that is not scalable. Alternatively, you can sell products like this, but again, how good is the technology behind it? And on top of that, the product itself costs $146. You'd have to sell it at like $300, $500 if you wanted to have good margin. And that means you'd need to have very good marketing in order to sell the product at that price because at that price point consumers are doing their homework whether the company is legit and at that point you'll have very hard time competing i also know a lot of people that try to sell these products you can see this product here is a proven winner right at least on surface it sold 100,000 units it's a proven winner just from the outside i know a lot of people that try to sell portable cinemas at some point i even tried to sell them myself and i had very hard time because of quality of the product because it's electronics and the software on the back end constantly needs updating. And every new version of Android, every new version of iOS, you have to update the software in order for the product to work properly. So I do not recommend selling these kind of products. Remember to stay tuned for the bonus product at the end. Number five, last on our list is ripoff products. Guys, I cannot tell you how many greedy, dishonest, or downright stupid e-commerce stores sell the junk. Ripoff products won't just make your customer super angry when they get the fake product and destroy your customer lifetime value. Selling them could even get you sued. If a product you're selling is unlicensed by the original company, it means your wholesaler doesn't have permission to use their branding and design, which is illegal in the US and most other countries. Sometimes product need proper certifications to be sold on the market. Finally, original manufacturers have the original patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets to the design of these products. So if you or your wholesaler steps on their toes by selling fake products, get ready for a lawsuit or maybe cease and desist if they decide to be nice that day. On top of this, their supply chains for ripoffs are usually very unreliable. It is actually an extremely common practice for factories and distributors in the Asian market to search for and replicate products that they could rip off for a low cost using their existing infrastructure. So these sellers are selling Apple watches, $168. I don't know if this is the original Apple store, right? This is something to investigate and really find out whether they have the license to sell these kind of products so i would not risk selling these products to have a potential liability for yourself another product that i would avoid here is this hair dryer it's a direct replica of the product that's been dominant in that market which is dyson you can see this product they spent years and years and years developing and then you have the ripoff that looks exactly like them the design is patented the trademark is patented the technology is patented so if you're trying to compete with them they'll get you sued it might look like a great product and the margin is great and like how come you know it's sold for like 300 400 500 dollars and i can get it for 15 dollars and sell it for 100 dollars but that risk that you're taking might not be worth it and will just cost you a lot of headaches so those were the top five worst products to sell in your shopify store which will kill your business but actually i have one more bonus product that is the absolute worst of all please guys even if you accidentally sell some of these first five products just promise me that you'll never try to sell this one and this product is food and specifically perishable food that can go 
go bad in just few days. You cannot control their quality, you will pay through the nose for a refrigerated and expedited shipping, and you often can only reach a very limited market of people who buy their food online instead of local stores. On top of that, food has so many health and safety regulations that you'll be drowning in paperwork and legal problems instead of cash. So there is this company, it's called Miami Fruit, and they're selling Bass Tropical Fruit Box, so they're selling all of these products, but imagine how perishable these products are and how good you would have to be at marketing in order to actually sell these products. And then it goes bad and there goes your cash. So unless you have a specific advantage, maybe you have direct links with suppliers where you can source these products at a very low cost and then you can sell them, don't go for this niche. So these were some of the worst products that you could possibly drop ship on Shopify. Now, I'm not gonna lie, some of these products literally made me cringe of how bad they were. Out of these products, which one do you think is the worst? Leave a comment below and let me know. And now that you know which products to avoid, check out this video below where I show you how to find winning products that can make your business millions of dollars. And remember, e-commerce will be a $5 trillion industry soon, but the good news, it's not too late to get in the game. In fact, it's still early. So check out the video and get in the game while there's still time. And if you're an entrepreneur who already avoids bad products and looking to scale your business from 50 to 100, 200, 500k per month, or maybe even more, then we have a program called e-commerce scaling secrets. It's a program for experienced entrepreneurs looking to take their Shopify business to the next level. So if that's you and you want to join a community of high level entrepreneurs like yourself, click the link in the description, see if it's right fit for you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.